What would a draft night trade for Brandon Ayuk look like if it goes down? Yeah, I feel like I think the only way I can see the 49ers really trading Ayuk on draft day is if they somehow secure their wide receiver hit replacement like immediately. Like whether it's they wait at 31 and then they trade him for a handful bounty of picks like second and thirds. I know that's not what everyone wants to hear. It's like, damn, that's all you're getting from him. But it's like, look, you might get like some capable corner and defensive lineman that might still be worth it. And you get his replacement at that point. It's like, hey, that's not bad. And we get cheap contracts and we can keep other players that are elite. It's like, okay, yeah, it's not always about first round picks. And hey, the market has shown that like trade value for these wide receivers aren't going for first round caliber. They're just not. So, and, and hell, for the 49ers, maybe what you can do is even trade up like five spots. Say like Adonai Mitchell from Texas is there, who I love. And I felt like I, I fell in love with him even more after I mentioned it last week. It's like, wow, he really is a Brandon Ayuk replacement or like similar in type of style. So you get him and it's like, cool, bent. we banked on this guy. Now we can trade up or trade down for or, or switch picks. And it would even work more, especially if you're uh, if you're the 49ers and like, you know, like Bo Nix, Penix and all these quarterbacks like you mentioned last week. Or around it's like cool we can take one of these teams and now we can really go down it, it it just makes for like more baiting and more fish luring i feel like for the 49ers so I, I feel like if they were to really trade for him on draft day they would have to probably have their actual replacement on board first and then it's like okay now we'll do this deal that would make sense um i do think though that like <clears throat> from the original report about the steelers being interested in i we kind of laid out how it could work with the Steelers. So the Steelers clearly have made it known that they would trade their second round pick plus late round picks for Ayuk. And that's not enough. And everyone knows that. That's where you start your negotiation. The Steelers also have a first round pick. It's like pick 20. Yeah, I think so. And I think what it said in the article, and it was the author's opinion, but I often wonder like in an article like that where the author has like a team source, how much is your opinion? How much is that his opinion that you're just calling your opinion? Because he doesn't want that part. Anyway. He said that if the Niners want that first round pick, that they would have to pay some of Ayuk's salary this year. So he's got a $14 million plus base salary for 2024. If the Niners were to agree to pay for, I don't know, they have to negotiate it, but half of it, three quarters of it, they could get that first round pick. So essentially, that first round pick is up for sale in Pittsburgh. And if you want it, you just got to pay for it. So I don't see, I mean, that's kind of an interesting strategy from Pittsburgh's perspective. So it's like the Niners could get that first round pick for I, for sure. For sure. Just got to pick up a little bit of the tab. What do you think is it worth it? I think it'd be worth it. Cause then be worth especially, it. what do you pick up? Let's say it's like an offensive tackle at 20 and like, boom, you get your starter instead of Colton McKivitz mm -hmm. and that's $7 million plus whatever, how much would, mm -hmm. would a first round of a pick 20 get paid that year? Like four, five? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that, right? Like ballpark yeah. range, whatever. Then it's like, cool, that contract we have for IU, it's going to go to this offensive lineman for at least year one, anyways. So it, it kind of offsets itself. If you're pretty much swapping players, and then you're getting more for down the line. So that, that's why I really think like I like those scenarios where again, like if you take IU and you just divvy them up into different sections, like okay, we got a wide receiver, it's not sending me a drop off. We got like a uh, offensive lineman, you know, defense, whatever, whatever you can do with that sense, and then make your team better, and then also you have it's more salary cap to extend or retain any other players you want to keep down the line. But yeah, those are some scenarios I really like for him. 